Boxbox, can I sub to you? No, whatever you do, please do not subscribe. I I hate it when people subscribe to my channel. Literally the worst thing ever. Every like 10 subs I get, my day becomes like increasingly worse. Oh, Prismatic Symphony. All right, so I'm trying to hunt down every last interesting game. I'm actually a man on a mission because I'm going to Japan soon with Annie and I need to get enough tubers to last my entire trip. So I need to like get woke game after woke game. Every single game, I'm, I'm going to try to do something. Have fun in Japan. I will try. I'm kind of excited. Also, I heard that the... Um, someone told me that, like, the, the yen is strong. Or, like, if you come in to Japan with, like, $100, the $100 is worth a lot. I don't know if that's actually true. Oh, the yen is weak. The yen is weak. There we go. So you get you get to, like, spend more. For free. Oh, actually, wait. This is interesting. I have like, I have quite the build. Cause the last I remember, I uh, one hundred yen was one dollar. So like, if if one dollar is worth more than hundred yen now, it's kind of pog. I'm gonna hang on to this Lulu. This, uh, this Eve is really good. Pray for a minimal, minimal heart steal this stream. I mean, unfortunately, heart steal is very necessary for tubers. You usually get so much power from it. I like shopping spree. I'm gonna do Radiant Relics and go for a win. Oh! Now I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do Radiant Relics. Ah! <laughs> Rascal's closed. Oh, actually, this item is really funny. Yeah, this item is funny. It's not, um... It's not the best item, but it's really entertaining to watch. I bet I can do something really funny with this. Gwintu's Reckoning. And then if I want to win right now, I slam a JG. Also, QSS is unironically not bad here. Oh, imagine Kale with Gwintu's Reckoning. Let me, let me think about this. JG definitely like wins out for a while because it's just really good on this Eve, but uh, it wouldn't be that great later. I, I think like if you want to play AP, Spark, Spark is solid here. Yeah, maybe Spark start compromise. Spark and then pay off of Glove. Pay off of Glove. Play off of the Glove. Wait, does Eve even do magic damage? Yeah, she does. QSS Eve actually goes really hard early game because she like heals on auto. So it's just like guaranteeing that she get, gets uptime on her autos is really nice. Eve is like really good early game and then she falls off really hard. Uh, I could move the item to Kale later. Yeah, I'm down to like play off of a Kale mid game. Is anyone strong? A couple people are. There's a couple matchups where I might have to slam something. Alright, I'm gonna slam a spark. I, I really don't want to slam JG. Even though it's good right now. I'd rather slam spark knowing that it's gonna be useful later. Just have faith in this Eve. She'll, she'll carry. She heals too much on auto to die. Oh! Oh no! Wait, I actually did lose? Wait, I got rolled. Okay. That sucks for me. I lost a four-way tiebreaker for for carousel pick. And I lost the round. Oh my god. That's actually really sad. Damn, I really lost that. My Eve like barely couldn't heal enough.
Not very good items. No, I lost the 70% chance. Okay, well, I'm definitely still this Eve. Oh, th this is so sad all around. All right, I'm done to just lose for a while. Also, I just realized Spark doesn't do anything if I'm playing Tail. Kind of a waste of items. Oh no, Albert, what have you done? You lost the round because you slammed Spark instead of JG. And then now you, you can't even play Kale because you slammed Spark instead of JG. What have I done? Oh, no, I lost again? How do I keep losing? It's 70% chance. Madge. Okay, what's a really fun unit to play with Radiant Gwinsus? I mean, I think of Sona immediately. Yeah, I think of Sona immediately. Uh, but in the mid game, it's like Kale 3. Oh, this is actually such a sad early game. No streak, no econ, no good headliner. This fight was whatever. Oh. Alright, I'm down. The world's fastest kill. I'll hang on to this one. The only real problem here is that I still have a spark already, which is kind of a waste of resources. Have you been playing Tekken off stream? Yep. I've been practicing a bit. We could have literally the fastest kill in the world. If I wanted to be a responsible human being, I would slam a gun blade because two Gwinsus is already plenty. I'm curious, how long does it take kill to reach her uh, max attack speed cap here? Let's take a look. I just my camera slightly covers that. Thank you, Goopsters, for the 23 months. Uh, it takes a while. Like, she didn't reach it this fight. Okay, I could actually do it. Just for the for the memes. The world's fastest kill. Ooh, paired with Impenetrable Bulwark is kind of sick. The world's fastest kill and then a very strong tank. Uh, Twin Terror kill doesn't do anything, unfortunately. What the Forge doesn't make sense because I already have a lot of good items. I'm down for the world's fastest kill, mixed with like a very strong tank. It is pretty solid. All right, for now, can you'll be a okay? Let's do it. World's fastest kill. Is it a throw? Oh, absolutely. It is absolutely a throw because Gunblade is just like it's way more responsible. Gunblade is such a perfect item here. Because, like, it keeps your team alive, it helps you buy time to scale up. But this is the thumbnail. Gwinsus from Superfan, Gwinsus from Gwinsus, and then Radiant Gwinsus. The world's fastest kill. Yeah, paired up with the world's tankiest tank as well. Yeah, throwing for the thumbnail. Hello, Feedy, nice to see you here. If I can get healing on my third augment, I would like that. Whoa, what the? Two Akalis? Oh wait, I can get healing from four superfan. I, oh fuck. She's actually in the build, but, oh, I, okay, I'll hold it. Oh yeah, two Akalis and I have a duplicator. This could be world's earliest Akali too. Yeah, this could actually be the world's earliest Akali too. If I if I were to use my dupe right now. Three three. Oh, well, I guess it'd be three five at this point. Three five Akali too. 
Why don't you go five super fan? Uh, there's a very good reason why I don't go five super fan. Anyone want to tell him why I can't go five super fan? Okay, I'll just tell you. The reason why I'm not going five super fan is because you have to have a super fan spat or a super fan headliner, and I can't hit super fan headliner if I'm playing Kale. Should I do it? World's earliest Akali 2. Hitting two Kales in one shop when I was already playing this build. I could also just wait and try to get like an Akali 3. Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't need the world's earliest Akali 2. I can wait. I will give her items though. I can do... I right, just BT. I could do Guardbreaker. I feel like Guardbreaker is pretty legit here. I'm gonna do it. Especially once you put Executioner on the board. That is so crazy that I hit two Akalis. Imagine like forcing Disco and hitting two TFs in one shop at six. And you had uh, a duplicator. But like, we definitely don't need it. I'm down to go for the glory. Hello, Wooly List. Thanks for the six months. Echo. Echo can go in at 7. I'm not sure how likely I am to force Kale here. I mean, I do have 5 Kales. Wait, what? You threw the super fan spat on her? Oh, it's going to pop off next round. He's fine. I'm pretty sure it's not worth it. Like, even if you get 5 super fan, you should put the super fan spat on someone else. Oh, fuck. Do I lose this round? I need the win streak. I need the win streak money. Please, world's fastest Kale. Scale up to 5.0 attack speed and then do something. Please tell me I have enough damage to kill this Olaf. Surely at 5.0 attack speed she does, right? This is really funny to watch. I'm not going to lie. When are you going to roll for Kale? Uh, you either roll at 6 or you roll at 7. I'm going to roll at 7. 7 actually has a little bit lower odds of hitting Kale, but it has odds of hitting Akali, Nico, Echo 2, Karthus, and then you still have a fair shot at hitting Kale. It's one of those, like, based on how much money you have, if you have a lot of money, you should go 7. If you only have enough money for the Kale, you should go six, uh, roll at 6. So, I'm pretty rich, so I'm going to roll at 7. And then I'm going to roll until, like, my... Oh, wow, I hit an Echo and a Nico here. I'm gonna roll for a while here. Try to hit my next major spike. Uh, a card. I'll roll a little bit more. Is Echo or Nico better with these items? I feel like it's Echo. Oh, hello, Ray. I spent 10 hours practicing KBDs. Yeah, it's fun. It's kind of addicting. It's like really easy to like just get on and start doing KBDs. Um, don't need Pandora's. I need, uh, something that makes my team last longer, because my kill skills infinitely. Talent Switch is probably, like, de decent. No, you don't need two kill threes. The other one can't have items. Final Ascension sounds nice on paper, but you're not going to live long enough. Come on. Something that makes my team live long. <laughs> the egg! Okay, I gotta roll right now, then, and make sure I win. Wait, an Alawi? No, there's, I, there's actually no room for Alawi yet. Ari? No. Okay, I need to like slam something. Um, what am I slamming here? Am I slamming a Sunfire or a Steadfast? I I think I'm slamming a Steadfast. It's the tankiest item I can make. If 
but then I have to play off Belt. Why not Sunfire? I uh, the reason why I'm not slamming Sunfire is because I don't actually need anti-heal right now. Like, if you think about it, anti-heal is really good when you do a lot of damage to many targets. But if you do a shit ton of damage to one target, it doesn't matter if they have anti-heal, they're gonna die anyway. Like this this guy has a lot of healing, but the, the single target is so concentrated that it's fine. You know what I'm saying? You smell me? I haven't played since set two. What's the egg? You don't know about the egg? Once you live long enough, it hatches with a shit ton of loot. And then the crowd goes poggers. Uh, I'm gonna just roll to zero here. So... I almost have an Eco 3. Um... Oh no! I just took away KDA! Oh no! I put in a true damage unit and it converted my Kali! Surely that doesn't lose me the fight, right? I, I need to drop this Echo for Mordekaiser and then play Karthus for uh, 5 Pentakill Executioner. Because you don't actually need um, for super fan here. I'm just playing it for now. And then I'm down to just like roll it down to try to hit a Nico 3. Nico 3 with all those tank items, instant win. Don't even need kill 3. Oh, FDX, if you ever randomly want to try uh, TFT, let me know. I can coach you. Uh, I got Sage into TFT, and he actually likes it quite a lot, which is interesting because he's like a Street Fighter player. But like, wait, I got to think about my item. It's definitely a Warmogs. All right. Uh, I will take four gold. I I taught Sejem TFT and then he taught me Street Fighter and we started playing each other's games at the same time and we hit masters in each other's games. He hit masters in Street Fighter or he hit masters in TFT and I hit masters in Street Fighter. It was really fun. Although if you ever feel like it's not good for your stream, I don't blame you. That's a very fair take. Okay, I'm just donkey rolling, because uh, I need to win and hatch this egg. I need to get a Nico 3 so I can guarantee hatch my egg. So, here's the plan. Holy shit! Level 9, final reserves, heart steal. No! This is exactly the matchup that I needed this for. No! Oh, I'm gonna get rolled. This guy's getting first place. This guy is never going to lose again. It's not even close. Level nine on four five with a fully capped out board. Okay, well, I, I should definitely chill. So here's what we do. When it's time, I sell Echo, I sell Cannon. I play Karthus for Executioner Pentakill and then Mord for Sentinel Pentakill. And then you hit the three star Nico and I'm gonna move all three of these items to Nico and then Mordekaiser will get these scraps. Your egg pops 100%. Oh, it does, but uh, I don't think it's going to be strong enough to be Final Reserves. Final Reserves is like the worst designed augment in the history of TFT. It's an instant win or an instant loss instantly, and like there's nothing anyone can do anything about it. This augment only goes first or eighth, and if, if he won his fight after hatching, or after uh, proccing, he's just going to win the whole game. Like maybe I get an insane high roll, I can barely beat him, but it, it's going to be very hard. You keeping Lilia? Yes, for KDA and uh, Super Fan. You don't keep Kennen because he's true damage. I think I'm just gonna sell this Echo right now. Yeah, I'm gonna sell Echo Cannon right now. And just like, clear my bench and begin to prepare. And then, all three of these items will go on Nico. Hopefully I can hit Kale and Nico here. Let me scout. Not many Nikos out of the pool. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Six Nikos out. I gotta roll quickly before other people hit their Nikos. No, we're not going for that. Oh, 
Oh, this is awkward. Uh, I need to hit one and then dupe the other. And then I just have all three of my, my items on bench. I'm taking a huge L here. Hit one, dupe the other, and then everything works out. If I dupe one now, then it, I lower my chance of hitting by a lot. So just play until you hit one. Well, shit. All right, I'm gonna dupe the Nico. And I should like pray that I hit the kill. I just like need to put these items on the field. Oh, that sucks. You're, you're so much more likely to hit if both outs are available. You hit one, dupe the other, but I'm gonna bleed too much HP at that point. I already rolled as much as I could. I just have to like hope that I hit the kill now. I, I duped the Nico because she was a lot more contested. Nobody's holding Tails, but three players are holding Nikos. I mean, they're not doing it on purpose. It, Nico's just a very popular unit. Wait, do I win this? Aw, oh, I don't. Dang, it's so close too. If my Kale just had the HP to live. All right, please, I'm begging you. Give me a Kale. Give me a K. No! Okay, this guy's the egg. Maybe I can beat him. Oh, this guy is so greedy. He's going for an RE3. And he's got like one life left. I mean, I applaud it. He, he might actually survive this. I don't think I'm that strong. I'm so lucky that I'm facing him. Oh, if I'm very lucky, I also kill him here. Play the cutscene. Yes! He doesn't get his RE3. And I get to hatch my egg. Maybe with Kale 3 and the egg, I can beat the uh, final reserves guy. <gasps> Is that a cock? Dude, it's a Kale on Carousel. That's actually pretty huge. They shall tremble at my perfection. Okay, Kale 3 and the egg. The egg gives me... Wait. You give me a Radiant Gloves without a remover? I, it's perfect for my... Bro, let me, let me put it on my unit. What am I supposed to do with this? Okay, uh, I guess I just have to do this. And then this. And then just take this for now. And then... Oh man, I wish I had that. I had to sell that Yorick because I was out of money. But like now I wish I had him. He would fit perfectly. I'm missing one Guardian, one Mosher. Was your egg griefed? Uh, this is like a pretty decent egg. But like it's weird that it doesn't come with a remover. It really should come with a remover. Okay, I've got a Radiant Bramble Karthus. Um, what can I do here? Maybe, like, try to look for 7 Pentakill? I, I definitely just want tank. So, like, maybe I'll throw in Bruisers. That Alawi that I had, like, 25 shops ago was actually pretty good here. But th there's no way I'm ever, like, actually holding that Alawi when I had so many things to hit. Are you gonna swap the Radiant to, to Yorick? I wish I could put it on my Akali. It'd be very good on Akali. Like, just, just, like, move all the items. Even the BT, it's fine. To uh, cart this. This kill is very satisfying to watch. Lacking the gunblade's a little bad though. I have no regrets. Oh, feather dance. Thanks for the four months. Oh, you know who would actually be kind of good here? Oh. Um. Cannon would actually be pretty good as the last spot, right? To give kill Omnivamp any tubers today. Uh, this is the first game. It's gonna be me against the egg, uh, the final reserves guy. I'm pretty sure he wins. He's level ten, fully kept board. Two-star true damage Lucian. Headliner Kiana farming a million items. Two-star Yorick. 
I'm pretty sure he just wins. Final Reserves is a dumb augment. Final Reserves is like the, the most instant win augment in the game, even more than the egg. Like, I can try my best. I will see what I can do here. Uh, what do I even want here? Just like any tank item? Oh, these are not good. Like, no one has item slots. It's just my Lilia and Nar. I guess, like, adaptive. I think it's just adaptive Nar. Even Shroud. No, Akali is hitting the back line, so Even Shroud doesn't do anything. Oh, wait, this guy's level 9. If I if I somewhat beat him, that's actually huge. But yeah, I can level up next round. I think I need to try to play for level 9. I have, like, 2 or 3 lives, depending on how it goes. This Nico 3 is actually humongous. At what rank do you start to feel players are decent? That question is so subjective, it's not even funny. Oh, hang on. I'm going to roll and try to find something decent here. A Kennen, a Karthus, uh, a random legendary. Um, Missing Emo, Mosher. Fuck, I have to keep rolling. Okay, maybe that's good enough. Oh no, here it is. Here it comes, guys. I'm gonna get pounded. But yeah, that question is so subjective. The answer is going to be whoever you're asking, it's their rank, like minus three or something like that. If you ask me, I, I've i been 1100, I'm 1100 LP this season. I would say at Challenger, people are decent. If you ask a Diamond player, they would say at Emerald, players are decent. You know what I'm saying? Wait, I almost won. Wait, I won. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on. No, I didn't win. No, I almost beat the level 10 guy. But this guy's got three D claws and just keeps healing. Oh no. It's so close. If only I had a slightly stronger unit than Echo. Ah, oh, should I just roll? Going nine is going to be pretty tough here. If I lose this one, oh, I should probably move um, Mordekaiser back. He's he's my Sunfire and my Spark, so let's keep him alive for a while. Wait, I can't believe I actually almost beat the Final Reserves guy. I, I just thought I was going to get like completely cleaned out there. Okay, yeah, this is what I thought was going to happen. Like, look how not close this fight is. Oh man, this is so sad. I have such a cool build, but Heart Steel is too strong. Every single game, it's just Heart Steel battling it out for first. I'll just take another Sunfire. It's also an Akali. Since I'm at one life, I could just try selling my Kale and just trying to hit an Akali three here. I mean, like, why not, right? I'm pretty sure I'm dead here. I I, I clearly don't win with the world's fastest Kale here. It, Heart Steel is just too strong. Let's give it a try. If it, if it works, Pog. If not, I try my best. So we're looking for uh, a Kali specifically. No, you can't buy this. You have to hit the headliner. No, you can't buy it. You have to hit the headliner first. Well, I tried. Goodbye, world. You have to... You can't buy the fifth Akali, because once you buy the fifth one, you can no longer see Headliner. You have to get four, then get the Headliner, which brings you up to seven, and then you have to find two more. So, it didn't work out, but it's okay. The odds of it working out were very low. Unfortunately, this is just how the current set of TFT is. If you don't play Heartsteel, you will just lose to the guy who hits Heartsteel. I... Really don't like that part of the game right now. Uh, it's one of my frustrations. I think it's why a lot of people burn out on this set really quickly. The econ trait is also the best trait in the game. So it's just like hit the early econ trait, play for first. Don't hit the early econ trait, play for a top four. So it's like, it's fine.